Go. Esau eats good. Esau. Yo, what's up, baby? Yo, Esau eats good, man. He eats vegetables. He eats vegetarians, you know. Yeah, they they eat all their vegetables, yeah, man. man. You know? They eat all their good shit. They, they, you know, Esau exercises. He runs. You know? You see him every day out here all year long running on the seat. Yeah, him running down the street you in know? his underwear with no shirt on. You know, his yeah. back by the time he's 30. By the time he's 30, he got scoliosis. His back falling apart. But he don't know why. <laughs> you know, he out here running day after night, day after day, on his hard ass sea, man. He saw about to be destroyed. Yeah, he'll live to a hundred, man, but be, he be dead. Those mirrors be in pain. In pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's true. Like the queen, that old act, that old ugly bitch, that rap bitch, the queen, man. Yeah. That bitch he's good, man. What about Dick Cheney's old ass? Well, that Dick Cheney done had about 15 uh, heart attacks. Dick Cheney. He, done, he got a robot uh, heart. Yep, he just recently had another one. Yeah, he, he, he's like Darth Vader, half man, half machine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheney's ass. Exactly, right. Yeah, he think he gonna live forever. What about that other you know? George Bush should have uh, been dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah both of them. Oh, both yeah. Of them. Yeah. 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 He should have been dead. Papa. And that, he looked uh, like a vampire. Yeah, he's in and out yeah. of the hospital, too. And that uh, fucked up time. Oh, Steve yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His ass should have been dead 30 damn years ago. Yeah, yeah. He should have been dead. He already typing with his with his chin. <laughs> he can't he can't use his chin no more. He just gotta use Yeah, you can you imagine the sophisticated computer he got though? Can you imagine that? He got some bad shit, man. He got some bad shit, man. If he's so goddamn smart, how come he can't get out that chair? Yeah, I'll figure out a way to get out of yeah. that chair. Figure out a, you can't get out of the damn chair. Yeah, you know, they got all kind of artificial legs and arms yeah, and shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should have done turned himself into a transformer, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's all that movie Transformers was. You should watch that movie Transformers. They said that the Transformers, uh, start, they pretty much was saying that they were more evolved than regular humans, that we were primitive. And we haven't evolved to that robotic That's state my shit, yet. I love Transformers. Oh, I like the 1986 movie, the cartoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my shit with the uh, Galvatron. With Rodimus. The birth of Galvatron. Yeah, Galvatron, Rodimus Prime. Mm -hmm. That's my yep. shit. Oh, yeah. That's got the best soundtrack, too. That's a bad yeah. Oh, shit. yeah. Yeah, nice soundtrack. Yep, yep. You watch that's one of the, That's a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, I love that cartoon, man. And they evolved to, into um, the Beast Wars. Yeah, that shit had Orson Welles play the. Uh, Orson Welles did the voice for uh, oh, Unicron. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Real, real deep one. That's one of the last, one of the last movies he did before he dropped dead. Man. Fat piece of shit. <laughs> Orson Welles. Hey, yeah, skills up. Yeah, hell yeah. That, uh, what you call it? World of War. World of War. Yeah. You ever listen to it? Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. And he really did have the nation in it, uh, scared as fuck. Yeah, if you listen good. to it, you'll see why. <laughs> you know, that's bad. I'm about to read this chapter. This is uh, Psalm 75 and 1. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee, do we give thanks for that thy name is near, thy wondrous works declare. Oh, I said the name of the Lord is near. So you got to know the name. Yeah, how about some? Yeah, how about If someone ain't coming up, oh, the name of the Lord don't matter. He's got all kind of names. You can call him whatever you want. No, you can't call him whatever you want. He said, when I shall receive the congregation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it, Salah. I said unto the fools, fools. I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up thy horn. Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. That's all these people, man. You know, they walk down the street with their head up, they too good. They, they think they better than you. What, and really, they're, they're a piece of shit. They're retarded. They're a goddamn zombie. A brainless, mindless, know-nothing. You know, these people don't know shit. These people are nobodies, man. Yeah, these really, because we, we ain't supposed to be proud, and but com really compared to us, these people are nothing, yeah, man. They're beneath us. They really are beneath us, man. They really, they're beneath us. They spit. They like spit. Just like a heathen is spit. Two-thirds of Israel spit, because they just liken them to a heathen. You know what I'm saying? You want to be like a heathen, we'll treat you like a heathen. Yep. We'll talk to you like a heathen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Said, uh, for the prom uh, for the promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put us down one and set up a, another. 
Let me get that again with the bus. That's what that up. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set up of another. Like the Lord set up America. He, he set the Lord set up America. You think the Illuminati, Illuminati think, oh, we created this country. You ain't create shit. The Most High put that in your mind and gave you the power to create it. You know what I'm saying? And then, now he gonna destroy it. He gonna destroy this piece of shit, man. He gonna destroy America off the face of the earth. Ain't gonna be no more America. Ain't gonna be no goddamn Freemasons or no more Illuminati, none of this shit. It's all gonna be destroyed. So you faggots ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? The skull and bones ain't shit. Your Freemasons ain't shit. The president ain't shit. Y'all ain't none of y'all shit. You judges, cops, none of y'all, y'all ain't shit. What you got? You got something to back me up? For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Dregs, they're a lot of bullshit. Yeah, y'all drinking the floaters, you know what I'm saying? The nasty shit in the drink. You're getting all the leftovers. In the kingdom, y'all gonna get nothing but leftovers. Sucks. Yeah, you getting the, yeah, the nasty. That's <laughs> probably what we're getting now. Right, but that's what we're getting now is the dregs. Like you said, uh, all the food we, half the food we eat comes from goddamn China. The food you're eating ain't safe. You know what I'm saying? People been shitting in your food and pissing in the food you eat. The water got fluoride in it. Got all kind of drugs and chemicals in it. Half the food you eat has MSG in it. All, all the crops have been genetically modified. That's eating the dregs. They're, they're just rich. All the elite, the elite, the royal families, the royal families, even Barack Obama, all, they, they, they don't eat genetically modified food. All their food comes from private gardens. All their fruit, their fruit comes from private gardens. You know what I'm saying? They pay top dollar for their food. They didn't eat none of that genetically modified food that we eat. Like the owner of Lay's potato chips, they ain't eat no goddamn Lay's. The owner of Burger King ain't eat no goddamn Burger King. <laughs> Hell no, he ain't eating that shit. That shit's not even cows. Half that shit's people. They feeding you horse meat, people meat. You don't know what the fuck that meat is. Oh, we was reading an article yesterday. They said, uh, the KFC's, K KFC's uh, uh, boneless chicken is only 50% meat. Not KFC, all boneless chicken. All, all boneless chicken is only 50% meat. It's yes. not even fucking meat. You don't even know what that shit is. I saw some chicken McNuggets. That's, 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 that's the same shit. Oh yeah, that chicken McNuggets, yep. they got silicone in it. That's what they make computer chips out of. Cancel. Yeah, it's something, something that would kill you, man. Like, like all get these, some crispy plastic si sandwiches. Oh, just like all these, uh, the fake sh the sweeteners. All these sweeteners they uh, they try to replace sugar with the sucralose. That that should give you cancer, man. Or what's that uh, that sugar they got? That aspartame. Aspartame will give you goddamn cancer. All these fat people drinking Diet Coke, thinking they're helping them lose weight. Shit. When the aspartame to make your ass go blind. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, it's, uh, Ecclesiastes 33 and 11. In much knowledge, the Lord has divided them and made their ways diverse. Diverse. Some of them has he blessed and exalted, and some of them has he sanctified and set near himself. But some of them That's the elect. Has he, has he cursed oh, so and the, brought low. Who the Lord said there's a hope there's some cursed people. So the Lord didn't bless everybody. So he, actually he he cursed more than he blessed. The Lord only blessing a few people. That's why it's called the elect. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And turn out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like You know, America's going to be destroyed. God's about to destroy America. According to the Holy, according to the Holy Bible, according to the Holy Bible, God is going to destroy America. That's what's happening. Go ahead. Good said it gets evil and life is against death. But if people walking by, you got to give them a quick message that they can comprehend. You know what I mean? Against death. Go ahead. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the all the works 
of the Most High. He created both good and evil. Good and evil. You know? It wasn't Satan. He didn't just make you, the, you can make up your own motherfucking mind. Oh, we got free will. It's in my right. heart that if I choose, I can be good, I'm gonna be good. There ain't no choice. Right. The Mo he just said it right there, the Lord read that again. Ain't no- Ecclesiastic is the left. Ecclesiastes 33 and 11. In much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. So the Lord made their ways diverse. He created the wicked and the evil. Keep going. Some of them had to be blessed and exalted. All right, that's and, us. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And some of them had to be sanctified and sent near himself. That's the elect. Keep going. But some of them had he cursed and brought low and like, turned out of their place. Like Esau, Esau been brought low. Oh, he, he's a low life. That's where you get the word low life. You, a, you, a, you know what I'm saying? You're a piece of shit. And two thirds. And the two thirds, they're a bunch of low life. They're a bunch of pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. So law was given to them. Exactly. Goddamn devil, ain't no law given to him, so he's a no good bastard by birth. There we go. Okay, go ahead. Right. Ecclesiastics. Ecclesiastes 35 and 13. He will not accept any person against a poor man, but will hear the prayer of the oppressed. I hear the prayer of the oppressed. So we've been oppressed. That's why we out here right now, that's out here teaching, we're out here praying. You know what I mean? Cause it, yeah, cause the bot, cause you got, like that goes back to that polite motherfucking them Egyptologists. How come they ain't never, I ain't never heard him read no Egyptian hieroglyphs pleading for the poor and the oppressed. You ever seen him out on the streets with some hieroglyphs? I ain't never seen him Egyptologists out on the streets. They, I ain't seen none of them bring out a big ass block with some hieroglyphs and carved up in them. We about to read some uh, some knowledge, yo. Right. And they gonna go out there read like, give me that hieroglyphs verse 10. I ain't never heard it, bro. Well, they also give me uh, Anubis 31 and 2. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never came out with that. You know, but that's in the Bible, though. That, 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 that's why your boy Nat Turner went nuts, man. Nat Turner read the Bible. Oh, yeah, he read that. Spiritual. He read that Deuteronomy. It was over. It was over, bro. Spiritual. He got the Holy Spirit. That's, that's the Spirit jumped up on him, even though the Lord wasn't really with, with that going down like that right there. You yeah, know what I mean? At that time. But it was, it was still a glimpse of what was to come. It was a glimpse into the future. It was a... I mean, just like the Lord Spirit jump, jumped on O.J. Simpson when he killed his wife. And that was a big major story, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, that was a big major story. And, yeah, and nobody, and here it is, that was a big story, and these dumbass people. 52, Ohio State University. Nobody, even, saw, nobody even praised O.J. for the right reasons, you know what I mean? If they was even praising him for the wrong reasons or hating him for the wrong reasons. Shit, O.J. is a great person. Right, I mean, what he did was beautiful. His woman, his wife committed adultery and cheated on him, so he killed the bitch. And then he killed Rodham Goldman, and he was a Jew too, so it was beautiful. He was an adulterer, and he was a so-called Jew at Edomite. So he, he committed two beautiful acts in one. You know what I'm saying? So what O.J. Simpson did was beautiful. Everybody tried to, oh, O.J. Great America. They even took his eyes, man. Yeah, they even took his damn Heisman. So you know they hated him and they took his Heisman. Yeah. That's some serious hatred. <laughs> How the fuck you gonna take his Heisman away? He worshiped God, that idol. That, that's right, it's an idol. It's an idol. Yeah, it is an idol. Oh, All these devils got a point in time. Oh, here we go. Uh, second, second Ezra 4 and 37. To, he went to arm robber to get that bitch back too. Oh yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. 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 He tried. He like his, he like his ass yeah, only in America when you go to jail. His own shit. Yeah, only in America you go to jail for stealing your own shit. Only in America. Like Don King wanna say only in America? Only in America. Yeah, and Don King, he's a piece of shit, man. Oh, yeah. This motherfucker loves America. He walks around with two American flags waving his shit out of them motherfuckers. He's an old school gangster. He old killed school. motherfuckers. He did time. He know, he, right, he's a murderer. That's a, a, only a murderer and piece of shit would love America. You know, that's Israelite who he killed. Right, and he's a murderer. That shows you what kind of people who love America is a murderer. Right, and right. a piece of shit that, right. that just, just robs and steals 
Cause he all, all Don King did them arriving still. All them fighters he promoted, he didn't pay them shit. He took all that money, man. He took advantage of it. He took advantage of it. Just cause they was from the hood and they was trying to eat. Yeah. That's why Floyd Mayweather ain't fucking with him. Oh hell no. Hey man, ain't no way fucking Don King. They know you a piece of shit. No way trust you no more. Never heard his name. Oh go ahead. Exactly. Uh, second S dress four and uh, plus all the fights are goddamn fixed. You don't know what's real and what's fake no more. Same thing with the NFL. With the NFL, you don't know what's real and what's fake. It's like watching professional wrestling now. You don't know what the fuck's real, what's fake. Oh, go ahead. Second S dress four and thirty-seven. By measure has he measured the time, and by number has he numbered the time, and he does not. Oh, the, 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 Lord, steer them. the Lord numbered the time, so America's days is numbered. Keep going. Until the said measure be fulfilled. And we we about right there right now, that said measure. You know what I'm saying? Let me finish this up. Uh, we can call it a rap. Uh, it's a psalm. Go back to Psalms uh, 75 and 7. For uh, God is a judge. He put it down one and set up of another. So the Lord about to take America down when it's destroyed by these thermonuclear missiles. And the missiles is coming. Like, uh, America is, is about to go to war with all kind of countries, man. Like, there's a war about to pop off with the Chinese and the Japanese. And America was, because the Chinese and Japanese is fighting over them islands. And Japan is building up their army. They building up their military. China's building up their military. And uh, America, they just flew B-52s uh, uh, over those islands, that was uh, tempting China, threatening them. You know, lap, you know what I mean? What's that word I was looking for? They was, uh, what's that word? They was going over there, they was, uh, they, they was being Provoke. proud. They're provoking them. Yeah, that's the word, they're provoking them. They're provoking them. Because the B-52s hold nukes, okay? So America just flew nukes by China saying, hey, we dare you to do something. Same thing with Russia. Russia being proud. Threw, Russia threw their B-52s over Guam. And that's where the U.S. have their... Oh, yeah, they threw them bomb, nuclear bombs over. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And plus, uh, yeah, Putin just said that he's going to uh, nuke the missile. They said if America sets up those missile sites over there in Missile Europe, uh, Missile Europe, that's what's going to be <laughs> Missile Europe. Over there in Eastern Europe, <laughs> that he's going he gonna to nuke them. He said he's going to nuke America. So it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time, right. It's a matter of time. It's a sure. matter of time, bro. Plus, Iran, fin they finally got their nukes together. They getting their nukes together. And Iran is surely going to use them nukes. And I, I like all these stupid people saying Iran ain't really getting nukes. You must be dumb as hell. Why the hell do you think America don't want Iran to get nukes? <laughs> There's a reason they don't want them to get the nukes, because they're going to shoot them. They know they're going to shoot them. And they're going to shoot them goddamn nukes. And they're going to first, they, like Israel, should be afraid, we always say. Israel should be afraid. Of, very, very, very afraid. Because <laughs> as soon as they get them nukes, Iran is shooting missiles right on Israel, and then all kind of nukes gonna start mm -hmm. flying. Yep. You know what I mean? It's gonna be beautiful. That third wall coming quickly. Coming quickly. So y'all should be very afraid of Iran. Okay. All that talk about if Iran gets missiles, they gonna shoot them. It's true. <laughs> Shit. Shit. They can't wait to get them missiles, man. That's right. That's right. It's gonna be beautiful. That's right. Dude talking about we 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 hear that 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 rack that was right here when that when martial law was declared here and all this chaos, man. He was looking fearful, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Here we man, I wake up every day hoping I hear death and destruction. <sighs> I wake up thinking death and destruction. Well, because that's because afraid of that day. Because if that comes and he's gonna he's got good money, mm -hmm. he's probably going got a nice car, and he's got a nice house, probably got a few houses, right. not probably just one house. Nice little future. He got multiple he houses. He got, like he said, he got a condo down in Florida. Mm -hmm. He said he's not even from Columbus. Right. Them Jews get around one one minute they in Columbus. Next, he said his dad lived in New York. Mm -hmm. One minute he in Columbus. Next minute he in New York. Then he in Switzerland. Then he in Paris. No, they travel in the world. He, he bought it not at home. Be in Hong Kong the next oh, yeah, minute. Feet, yeah. Them so-called Jews, they in Hong Kong. They ain't just in America. They in Hong Kong. They in Uruguay. They in Argentina. They in Paris. They in, they all over the place, man. They got a whole web of the whole web they done created throughout the whole world. They just controlling every goddamn thing. Let me finish. There's only a couple of scriptures left. For uh, this is Psalms one. Uh, excuse me, Psalms seventy-five and eight. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red, it's full of mixture. 
and he poureth out the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. That's talking about Esau gonna go into slavery. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. So we ain't gonna, we gonna sing praises to the God of Jacob. That's your how about assume your how about okay? There ain't no goddamn Isis, no Ra, no Queen of Heaven, no Mary, no Jesus, okay? Cause Jesus' is real name is Yahweh Shai. You ain't supposed to be calling on the name of Jesus. And the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. So that's the point. You know what I'm saying? All you damn demons, you're going to die. You're going to be destroyed. Death to two-thirds of Israel. Death to all you damn adulterous-ass whores. Death to all you faggots. Death to all you fake-ass Israelites on YouTube teaching lies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Death to you Egyptologists. <laughs> Death to you New Age weirdos. Death to you Nephilim fallen angel motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Death to all you coast to coast motherfuckers. Uh, Death to all you Professor Griff disciples. Uh, Death and destruction. So, uh, who, who else gotta die? All you people in your churches. All you people celebrating Christmas. I hope you die. I hope your Christmas tree catches on fire and your little baby's presents get burned up. You know what I'm saying? Bro, right under that motherfucker. Right, I hope, a death, I hope on when you celebrate New Year's Eve, straight bullets come to your house and hit you in your neck and paralyzes you. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much, we're gonna give uh, all praises to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, double honors to the elders of GMS, and that's it, Shalom.